everyone, welcome back to Vendertron's Fallout New Vegas walkthrough. This is episode 21, and uh, I am in Novak right now, and we're currently covering side quest one for my baby. We need to find out some information about Boone's wife, and we've already talked to the ranger, and uh, we've talked to Boone about it. And uh, what I was going to do is stop in the office here and talk to Jeannie May and see if she has any information. So let's kick... I just want to kick off this radio, um, wherever it is, because, yeah, YouTube. Sometimes they have licensing things. Hey there. Hi. I hope you're finding everything to your oh, liking. Oh, absolutely. Thanks for asking. So what can you tell me about Boone's wife? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but there was just no getting... She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but okay, I guess so she got tired of waiting. She wanted to leave. Clearly she wanted to leave. Boone didn't want to. So maybe... Um, she kind of set this whole thing up herself. Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife. I, I know he thinks she was kidnapped, but I'm not... Uh. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. All right, okay, so... Um, I'd like to see what's in that safe that she has. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back at night when she's not here. So let's go back up to the... Dinky the T-Rex here and talk to Manny Vargas. We found out some information from his computer, but we still need to go talk to him. And maybe this guy also knows some information about Boone. Welcome back. Can I get you? Uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Can't say we spoke much. Boone did most of the buying for him. She was in the store once, but she didn't stay long. Had a look on her face like she'd smelled something sour. As far as I can remember, the gift shop smelled fine. Okay. So she sounds like quite the uptight person. All right, Manny Vargas. Hello. Whoops. Oh, Eddie, get out of the way. What's going on, man? Who are you? I'm Manny. I'm on security detail here. Yes, I can you see, see that. You see a rifle barrel sticking out of the dinosaur's mouth? You got a 50-50 shot at me. Otherwise, it's boom. Hmm. Right. What do you protect the town from? You name it. Anything that comes within a thousand yards that looks like trouble. Hmm. Lately we've been getting ghouls, coming from the road to Repcon out to the west. Quite a few last couple days. All right. The big threat is the Legion coming from the east. If they decide to attack with a full force, they'll run us over. But so far we've been lucky. Okay, I know who Boone is, but maybe it'll Boone's open up sniper, some more dialogue. Same as me. Used to spot for him when we were enlisted with the NCR. After we got out, I talked him into settling down here. So, here we are. I'd introduce you, but uh, we're not so friendly right now. What are your bad turn? Why are you on bad terms? Me and his wife. We didn't see eye to eye on some things. We had some pretty big arguments. One day, she turns up missing, and he hasn't said a word to me since. Hmm. Why did you and Boone's wife argue about? Or what and did you, you argue name about? It. See, I grew up in North Vegas, me and my cousins. We were some bad seeds. Got in with a gang. I loved it. Then something happened, and I couldn't handle it anymore. So I enlisted, earned my future, brought down my best friend to share that future with me. And here was this woman, who was too good for it, trying to take him away. So yeah, I didn't see eye to eye with the bitch. Ah, huh, okay. Did you have anything to do with Boone's wife's disappearance? Believe me, when I heard the news, my first thought was, I owe somebody big. I figured Boone would come around after a while. But he hasn't. I'm starting to think that if he doesn't find her, things will never go back to the way they were. Okay, so he doesn't. Who would want to hurt Boone's wife? Man, everybody. That girl didn't have one friend in this whole town. She didn't want any. She wanted to sit in a room all day and make herself miserable. And she went out of her way to be rude. Hmm. She upset a lot of people. You wouldn't have liked her either. Okay, so you were in a gang. Were they tough? I was in the con. Right. Man. It doesn't get any badder. Yeah, we knew that from the computer. What was your tour with the NCR like? Oh, it was great. Something about that lifestyle, the discipline, seeing new places, making people safe. What's not to love? Blah, blah, blah. So, why'd you leave? 
Uh, well, I just felt like it was time. Okay. Plus, I was up at Camp Golf when Bitter Springs went down. I faked like I was sick to get out of going because I knew... Mm. But when everybody came back, nobody would tell me what happened. And people would call us murderers sometimes when we showed up to... Uh, okay, so what did happen at Bitter Springs? I still don't know That's exactly. where Boone was, just too. Just that a lot of people died who didn't want to be a part of the fighting at all. I don't blame anybody for it. There's so much chaos when you're fighting. You're lucky not to shoot your own guys. Ah. But it did take something out of it for me. This wasn't the same. So when it came time to re-enlist, I just took my papers and walked. Okay. Um, that's all the information I need from you, sir. Come on, Eddie. Do, 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 do. Man, I really wish I had some sour soothers. Playing Fallout makes me crave sour soothers. Um, okay. So... We still have those three rooms to explore up top, so let's do that. Maybe there's some people in there. We might be able to find some more information out. Aha! Daisy Whitman. Howdy! Fine weather for flying. It's times like these that make me miss it all. What? Okay. Uh, what do you do in Novak? I help folks strip down the more complicated bits of salvage they bring in. Engines, mostly. Oh, I see. The bits and pieces we take out are usually worth more than the whole... Okay, um... Did you fly for the NCR? For? No, not exactly. It was a long... Uh, were you a pilot? Vertebrate pilot. 71 missions and only lost one chopper. Rotor malfunction over Klamath. Hard land... Okay, you're kind of useless, um, but let's see if we can loot some stuff from you, like these noodles. Nope, she lifted them before I could have a chance. Uh, okay. I'm going to have to come back and loot this stuff when she is gone. Because, yeah, I want that stim pack and stuff, so. And the dresser is empty. All right. Okay, let's go check out the next motel room. Eddie, get out of the way. Uh, okay, here's somebody else. And cool, stuff I can loot. Perfect. Uh, what is that? Motorcycle handbrake. Motorcycle gas tank. Uh, sensor module and a conductor. Cool. All right, come here, you. We need to talk. Oh, please don't kill me. I swear I'll have... Wait, you, you, don't you don't work for Mr. Bishop, do you? Who the hell is Mr. Bishop? Uh, no, I don't. What makes you think that? Or I could lie and say I do, and it's time for you to suffer. Nah. Sorry, it's just, you look like his type, you know? You got that heart. Okay, aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Why would this Mr. Bishop be after you? Oh, well, that's all just a big misunderstanding, see? Mr. Bishop? Well, he owed me a lot of money, and, uh, you know, he's a busy guy, so I sort of figured I'd just... So you robbed a casino boss. Nice. And so, because of that, you ran all the way to Novak? Uh, okay. Robbed is such an ugly word. It's more like I took care of a payroll problem for him. Yeah. Also, I might have, uh, sort of plowed his daughter. Plowed? Plowed. Wow, my hat is off to you. That takes some balls. Thanks. But if Bishop finds me and I don't have his money, my balls are going to be on his trophy wall. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, that's a tough break. Good luck with that. Um, cool. You do that? Great. Of course. I'm a very helpful person. Aren't you that singer from New Reno? I think I saw you play the clubs there. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, you yeah, have yeah. heard of me. Yeah, yeah, that... yeah, yeah. Okay, why did you come all the way to New you Reno? You don't know Mr. Bishop. He's not like other bosses up there. Okay. He knows the wasteland like the back. Okay. I knew if I didn't get way the hell away from New Reno, he'd run me down. I see. Okay. Well, that's all I have to say to you. Um, but I think I can take stuff in here. So let's do some looting. But I don't think that there's really much to take. Turpentine, tire iron, that's empty. Yeah, pretty barren. All right. 
Next room. Motel room 07. Oh, they're all the same number. Never mind. Uh, okay, this one's a little eerie. So there's nobody in here. Psycho. Yep, I'll take that. Um, Footlocker. Perfect. Three bottle caps. Just what I always wanted. Carton of cigarettes. I'm gonna need the jet. And I want the pack of cigarettes. And... Eddie, I hope you realize that you're gonna have to carry all of this. Open the door. Perfect. Stim packs. No stim packs. Damn it. Oh, and a Hydra. Okay. I'll take that stuff. Okay. So we've cleared out the motel. Pretty much. Um, now let's do some looting outside here. So let's check out this gas station and see what there is here. So some scrap metal. Oh, I can't take any of this stuff. Duct tape. The town will probably ambush me if I try to take this stuff. So... I'm not going to really touch it. Out of the way, Eddie. Yeah. And... Yeah, can't really take any of this stuff either. Sorry if I'm making you guys dizzy. <laughs> Let's see if I can make some ammo. Nah. Okay. Cool, 16 bottle caps in the dumpster behind the Poseidon Energy gas station. So that's good. It's cool how they have like these rocket cars everywhere. It's so futuristic, but nostalgic all in the same. Um, that's the beauty of Fallout. 50s feel, but it's 100 years after our time, or 200 years or something like that. Let's ask the doctor if he, she knows anything about Boone's wife. What can, what can I do for you? Nope. Is there anybody in this tent? No. Alright, let's go check out this house down here. And see what's going on. Oh, there's some pickly pear fruits. So let's drink, let's get that so we can get our dehydration level down. Perfect. So I will take some of that. Excellent. Let's get our gun out. You never know. In these parts I might get accosted by iguanas. Oh, you can't actually go in that house. All right, mailbox is empty. Let's go check out this other place. So this must be the Brahmin farm that Jeannie Mae was talking about. And something is killing the Brahmin. Alright, well let's go in and talk to the farmers here and see what they have to say. Hello. Look who's here. Alice McBride. Who brings you here? Um, I just wanted to meet you. Oh, well, I'm Alice, and that handsome stranger yonder is my husband Dusty. Going on 50 years now. Wow, she looks so young for I 50 keep years of for marriage. I him to leave me for some young thing with they a obviously have hair a very good sex earrings. life. But he still sticks around. Says it's my cooking. I think it's because I know which Brahmin utter you can milk without getting kicked in the noggin. Uh, have you lived here for a long time? We set up this ranch years back when Novak was just getting settled. Ah, how but interesting. Now, with all the danger on I-15, folks are starting yeah, no to kidding. come through I here went from through all that. over. Death claws Novak and... might just be the next Nevada <sighs> boomtown. We don't talk about it. Uh, what can you tell me about Boone's wife? Boone. That's that sniper fellow. Works in the dinosaur, right? Yes. They seem real happy together. I really ought to get to know them better. They're probably nice folk. I'm sure. What do you think of the people who live here? So she obviously has no idea oh, that she's gone. We keep to ourselves for the most part. 
try not to pry. I think Jeannie May gets bothered that we aren't more social. So they mostly keep to, their self, to themselves. Ain't that we don't appreciate what she's done, managing this town like she has. But I worry she feels that way anyhow. Jeannie May. Not that there ain't others who pry so she has some here. seniority that in this situation. That skulking around our yard last week. <laughs> I thought he was our cow killer. Was about to lash him with our bull whip till I saw who it was. He's harmless, though. Part of me wishes I could see things like he sees them. Okay, how did Nobark get his name? I'm not sure who started it. It wasn't a very nice name, but he took to calling himself by it, so we all... I don't even remember what... Anyway, I think it comes from that expression that people say when you're crazy, that not all of your dogs are barking. Okay. All right. Well, I've got all the information I need from you. Ooh, there's a gun case. Uh, all right. What are you up to? You all right? uh, what can you tell me about Poon's well, wife? Well, to be honest with you, I don't really know them two as well. Right. I remember she had an edge about her, like she'd rather be someplace else. This kind of life ain't for everyone. All right. So, um, what do you do here in Novak? Obviously, you oh, ranch. I uh, I heard you've been losing livestock. Losing, don't describe it. It's a massacre. A few more. Hmm. Tell me what you know about Every the attacks. Every night around midnight, Alice and I midnight. wake up to some crazy hollering and gunshots. Hmm. You'd think the world was ending all over again. But it's just one animal each night. They don't take it or carve it up or nothing. Just leave it. Hmm. Okay, I'll see if I can catch whoever's responsible. We'd be grateful. Especially if you find it before they get my whole stock. But don't go getting yourself killed over. Alice and I will find a way to make do. All right. Um, did you get a look at the attacker? Beg your pardon, mister, but them two-headed beeves ain't worth getting sh Not to mention what would happen if half of what nobody... Best we can hope is that whoever's doing this will move on or get tired of it. Whoever it is, I don't think they're from around town. Seems like... Okay, so... We got a few things to do. We found some information about Boone's wife. Um, basically, more information that she's a cow. And we need to come back here at midnight and watch these Brahmin. And see what's going on with them. Uh, and see if we can catch the, the Brahmin killer. And so this is kind of uh, our 20 minute mark. So we'll end the video here. And... Uh, <laughs> So if you like this, click the like button, share it with your friends, and uh, remember that you can always find these videos uh, and the rest of them on my website at vendortron.com. Thanks again for watching.